Dear Vladimir, a warm welcome to Berlin. A handshake symbolizing support and the promise of more to come. For the first time since Russia's invasion of Ukraine more than one year ago, President Zelensky visited Berlin on Sunday. The German Chancellor announced 2.7 billion euros, almost 3 billion dollars, worth of military aid to Kyiv and promised to support Ukraine for as long as necessary. Die Ukraine ist bereit zu einem Frieden. Allerdings Ukraine is ready for peace, but Ukraine demands rightly so, and with our full support that this cannot mean to simply freeze the war and for Russia to dictate peace. This is an imperialistic attack on Ukrainian territory, and peace and security in Europe are at risk by the idea that a powerful country can attack a less powerful country to incorporate part of its territory. Germany, once criticized for its reluctance in supplying military gear to Ukraine, has essentially doubled its contribution of rockets, tanks and anti-missile systems to Kyiv and is now the second largest donor after the United States. Ukraine and the whole of Europe must be free. Our territorial integrity and security, as well as the territorial integrity and security of all the people of Europe, must be guaranteed. Now is the time for us to determine the end of this war this year. This year, we can make the aggressor's defeat irreversible. The world is holding its breath as the expectations of an upcoming Ukrainian spring counteroffensive, made possible due to Western aid, grow stronger. Meanwhile, Zelensky landed in Aachen in West Germany to receive the International Charlemagne Prize, given in honor of services done in the name of European unification. Rival protesters marched through the city. Pro-Russian demonstrators held signs of Zelensky with the text, I want a spaceship, mocking his requests for military hardware, amongst other things while others showed up in support for Ukraine. Yeah.